Diamond Bees, how are you today? I have no idea where I'm supposed to be looking. I'm using a new phone. Uh, I've upgraded my Samsung. And yeah, so I think I'm supposed to be looking here. I'm not sure. Well, isn't this fun? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I can't plug my, my headphones or my mic into this phone. I may end up reverting back to my other phone for these videos. I just wanted to try it and see how the video quality was. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the phone's the, the video and everything's supposed to be really good on this phone, but if I can't figure out where I'm supposed to be looking, then we got a problem. So, that area right here, right there <laughs> is the only place I can figure that that's where I'm supposed to be. I don't know. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Um, so anyways, today is week three, <laughs> week three of the movie marquee challenge that I'm doing with Heather, the crochet witch. If you're new here, there's a playlist down below, uh, that shows you all the videos, all her videos, all my videos from the beginning of January where we started this. Basically, we're each month either Heather picks a, a video or a movie or I pick a movie and then we put the movie poster up and we choose the colors out of that movie poster and we make something. Okay, that's the gist of it. <laughs> so this month was my pick and it is Venom. So yeah. Um, this has been interesting for me because, uh, I've, like I've said before, for those of you that are new, um, I don't usually use a hook that is smaller than a five. I'm using a four for this project. Uh, and also I don't usually use a yarn that is smaller than a five or I'll go with a four from sometimes. Uh, I'm starting to use four more often than not now. But this is, I believe it's a size three. It says it's a medium four. I think they lied. <laughs> Just saying. So anyways, the colors that I am using again is this color, which I absolutely love. It's really bright. I'm doing this later in the in the day, so the overhead light is brighter than the regular light. So it's kind of like that. Um, this is the Lion Brands Soft and Shiny. And it is in the color. Where's my glasses? Here we go. Oh, that was my mouth. Yeah. Okay, this is Vintage. That was yarn. Uh, vintage indigo and like I say it's darker than that it's it's really nice uh, and I'm also using the denim jeans and this again is darker quite a bit darker like that but it's really pretty uh, this one is ginger peach something like that. <laughs> and then this one is iced coffee, which is really blowing out. It's kind of like that. So those are the colors that I've been using. I'm really actually happy with the way this is turning out. The thing that my con is that this yarn is very splitty. Maybe if I was using a bigger hook, it wouldn't be. But with a four millimeter hook, it splits quite a bit. Um, and it's very slick. It's very like, yeah, it's very slick. It, it doesn't grab onto a hook like it should. So, but I'm getting through it. I'm getting through it. So I've got both of my panels done. Oh, so here 
Oh, here it is. I can't. It, it's so big. I can't show it in the whole thing. So there's the blue and the peach and then the beige iced coffee. So what am I making? <laughs> See, I've got the two panels. Uh, I've put stitch markers in here because I'm thinking what I'm going to do. It goes from one, can't see it, one arm to the other across. And <clears throat> I've got a hole here for my neck. I think I might have to make that a little bit smaller. I'm not sure. Yeah, probably a little bit smaller, maybe to here. Um, and then I was thinking... I was thinking of doing like a peekaboo shoulder. This is kind of like a poncho thing. I'm kind of winging it. <laughs> but I'm thinking of doing like a peekaboo shoulder and then sewing it from here to here uh, to make the sleeve. And then on the bottom, oh, I'm thinking of keeping this all open. And then on the bottom, having it sewn so that there's a gap for my body on the bottom of it um and then yeah and then you just kind of throw it on i'm not sure i haven't quite decided if i'm going to sew up the side a little bit and then just have like say to here and then have the rest of it open for a sleeve I don't know you guys tell me what do you think should I should I sew up the side like halfway or something like I don't know I don't know <clears throat> so I haven't tried this on yet um because it's just basically two rectangles put together um with stitch markers <laughs> so I'm thinking I might have to do up the sleeves or do up the top first before I try it on but I don't know I don't know how that I don't know how this is gonna look guys like I said I'm just kind of winging this but anyway what I did was I did a row of um, window stitches which is you know a, a double crochet chain to double crochet and then I did a row of, if you can see, I did two double crochets in each window all the way across. And that's it. That's all, that's all it is. It's got some weight to it. It's, it's got a lot of weight to it. So, <clears throat> yeah. So I guess the next video that you guys see will be it all together and me having it on if it stops raining. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, the weather outside has not been very nice, to say the least. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that this is going to turn out. Otherwise, I did all this work for nothing. Oh. <clears throat> but yeah, I so I got to just figure out how big I want the neck hole, and then figure out if I think I, I think I might just do a peekaboo shoulder, and then sew it up you know a little ways depends on how it sits on when I try it on am I looking in the right spot I think I'm looking in the right spot <laughs> I never even thought to look uh in my instructions of for my phone to find out where the camera actually is on my phone <laughs> so yeah anyway <laughs> So yeah, so that's, that's it. That's the way it's looking so far. And I have a whoop, fluffy there. So I don't know. What do you guys think? <clears throat> Let me know. <sighs> so I, I'll be glad when this is done though. Holy smokes. That's a lot of work. You know, I think it, it might be okay for spring. It's definitely, uh, I, I think it's too heavy for summer. 
um, I really thought that this was going to be lighter than it is. It's very deceiving. So, yeah. Hmm. Everybody's asking me a bit. A bit, a bit me, me. Oh, everybody's been asking me about this. I'll talk to you about it in another video. It's just basically a campfire cardigan. That's all it is. <clears throat> just campfire cardigan with some cuffs. That's all. No biggie. <laughs> but I, I was, my hands were cramping. I've got two projects that I'm doing right now. One for the um, Be Hootiful 12 project collab that I'm doing with Miss Hootie Hootenin. <clears throat> and this one that I'm doing with Heather the Crochet Witch. And they're both, they both have small yarn, small hook. And my hands have been just, oh, so sore. So this is kind of an in-between project. I had four projects going all at once crazy I never do that so this was kind of so that I could get into a bigger hook and bigger yarn so I could let my hands kind of relax <laughs> so I've been using my hand massager quite a bit so <clears throat> yeah so I'll be glad when this is done because this this right here is not my friend <laughs> this is not my friend at all <laughs> so anyway so that is my um project don't forget to go over to Heather's channel and check out her blanket. It is very cool. It is so cool. I can't wait to see the end result. Um, the way she's doing it, it's it's really neat. And the whole concept for how she's doing it, I never would have thought to do something like that. You know, um, like she, I'm just looking at the colors in the in the poster, right? Oh, and if you're wondering, this color. If you're looking at the poster going, hmm, like that color is actually the lettering for Venom and Venom's gums. <clears throat> so if you look really closely at the picture, you can see that color in there. Um, <clears throat> so I was just looking at the colors and going, oh, OK, let's put these together. Uh, Heather went more in deep in depth with it. She was talking about how Venom's face is half Venom, half Oh God, I can't remember his name. Anyway, it's like half and half. So she did her squares half and half. And then she did some squares that was like half the guy and other squares are half the venom colors. It was like a brilliant idea. So go check out her channel. I have her link down below. I'll have her link down below all year because uh, this is a whole year collab. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah, so the next, next video will be our finishing, um, uh, showing the end results. And then the video after that will be us, uh, it will be Heather's turn to choose the next movie. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what is picked next. So, but don't forget, if you want to get involved in this, we would love to have you get involved in this and, um, put your pictures in our Facebook groups and Heather's got her Facebook group and I've got my Facebook group. You know, if you're not doing Venom, if you're doing a totally different movie, um, put a picture of the movie that you're doing and your project. And, uh, yeah, I would love to see what you guys are doing out there. It thrills me to no end. Um, the pictures that have been coming up on our, our Facebooks have just been amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I, it excites me to see, uh, what you guys are coming up with. It gives us some ideas too, right? So I need all the ideas I can get. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that's all I have for you today, and I will talk to you next week. Okay, I love you all. Bye.